Hello, this is Pranay Sai and our topic for now is Missing Characters. You will be given an arrangement where it may consist of letters, characters, numbers or combination of letters, combination of characters or combination of numbers. This test is used to find out the ability of a candidate to identify the missing character based on the given information in the question. Here we go. Here is our first question and the numbers given are 36, 25, 27, 23, 30, 21, 33 and this is the missing term. As I said earlier, there is no certain pattern to be followed in these questions. For example, have a look at alternative numbers in this question. The difference between 27 and 30 is 3, 30 and 33 is 3, 33 and 36 is also 3, isn't it? Now let's have a look at other set of numbers that is 25, 23, 21 and the missing term. The difference between 25 and 23 is 2. Similarly 21 and 23 is also 2. Now what will be the missing term in order to get the difference as 2? Therefore the missing term is 19. By finding the difference between alternative numbers we were able to find out the missing value. Let's solve another question. Here is the second question. In this question there are three figures given and here is the missing term. These questions are just like puzzles where you need some time to solve them. We need to try out different patterns in order to find out the familiarity between them. In the first case in order to get the middle term the following pattern can be used sum of product of diagonal elements that is 3 into 3 plus 6 into 5 3 into 3 which are diagonal elements plus 6 into 5 is equal to 39 this one is done now in order to get 51 4 into 4 plus 7 into 5 which is equal to 51 so this is done similarly you can easily find out the missing term, isn't it? That is 3 into 4 plus 5 into 5. 12 plus 25 which is equal to 37. So the missing term is 37. Hope you have understood this. Here is the third question. A set of numbers are given in a box. All these numbers may be confusing. But on keen observation, you will be able to draw out a solution out of it. In this case, let's solve the problem in vertical direction. Product of first two numbers plus the third number gives this value. Let's see whether it works or not. 6 into 8 plus 3 equal to 51. True. Similarly, 15 into 4 plus 5. 15 into 4 plus 5 is equal to 65. So this is correct. So what would be the missing term now? It's pretty easy to find out, isn't it? 20 into 5 plus 20. And the answer is 120, 120. So the missing term is 120. So unlike the previous questions, this has a different format. It is the product of the first two numbers in vertical direction plus the third number, which gives the value. The next one. Fourth question. We are provided with a set of alphabets and numbers. Here is the missing term. Let's concentrate on alphabets first. In the first row, A, C and E. These are alternate alphabets, isn't it? Now in the second row, G, I and we need to find out the missing term. Before this, let's understand the third row. M, O, Q. Like the first row, even M, O, Q are alternate alphabets. M, N, O, P, Q. No N, no P. So M, O, Q are alternate. Similarly, A, B, C, D, E. No B, no D. So A, C, E are alternate alphabets. Now what could be the alphabet in this place? G, I. As we all know, G, H, I, J, K. We have G, no H, we have I, no J. So the alphabet is K. 
we have got the alphabet. What about the number? Now let's focus on the numbers 2, 4, 6, 5, 9, and 14. In the first row, it is 6. If you can observe, it is clearly evident that 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Similarly, in the third row, it is 14. So 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. Now, what could be the number here? The numbers are 3 and 5. So the missing number is 8. So finally, what is the missing term? It's K8. This is the answer. Last question. There are three square figures given and few digits given. Let's find out the missing term. We'll brainstorm ourselves. We'll try different patterns. We'll see which works out. And in this case, the product of the numbers which are outside of the box divided by 10, which will give us the inside value. Confused? In the first case, 5 into 3 into 4 into 2 by 10, which is equal to 12, isn't it? Similarly, in the second square, 6 into 2 into 3 into 5 by 10, which will give us 18, which is the inside value. Now, what will be the missing term? Based on these two, it is pretty easy to find out. Therefore, it is 2 into 2 into 9 into 5 by 10. It is 180 by 10, which is equal to 18. So the missing value is 18. So in this question, the product of the numbers outside the square box divided by 10 will give us the missing value. So each and every question have different ways and different patterns to be followed. Finally, missing character may be the average of numbers or difference between squares or squares of prime numbers or the numbers may be increased or decreased or divided by constants etc 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 and there are so many other patterns which are unpredictable it is important that you observe clearly and find out a familiarity in them